So you wanted to know how to animate in Source Film Maker, but you don't know where to start. Well you came to the right place, I will be teaching you how to animate in Source Film Maker, and then later down the road, you will get used to this program after I teach you some things. So let's get started. Let's talk about the breakdowns of walk and run cycles. A walking cycle is a looping animated character walking. It goes from the first foot, and the other foot, and then comes back with the first foot. Walk cycles can be very scary for beginner animators. Because there are so many poses to memorize, it's hard to understand to animate a walk cycle. There is a simple way to break this down by using these four poses. The contact pose. The passing pose. And the up and down poses. The contact pose is where the foot contacts the ground. The passing pose is where the other foot directly passes the first foot. The down pose comes after the contact pose, and the up pose comes after the passing pose. In order to complete this cycle, we need to copy and paste poses in reverse. A run cycle is a looping animation of a character running. It goes from one leg, then the other leg, and then comes back to the first leg. We start off with a up pose, then make a passing pose, and then add a kickoff after the passing pose, and the contact pose after the up pose. After that, you can put them in reverse with the arms and legs. Important tip, when it comes to run and walk cycles, make sure the arms and legs are opposite when pass over with the passing pose. Now that we covered the run and walk cycles, let's make a fluid animation. First set the key mode to step. Then turn off this button that's automatically selected. That way, whenever we do pose to pose, it's important that we don't want to override or interference the timeline. Let's set a keyframe for the first pose. I like to make sure that I select all and every keyframe. Next make a overshoot pose. After the overshoot, make a bounce pose. Before he makes his movement, let's place a keyframe for slightly movement before the action. Next make a anticipation pose. If your character is still moving not in stepped, height light all of the dots and press 4, or click on the step tangent a couple of times. Now highlight the dots and press 3. Now to add some adjustments in the motion editor. Height light the part where is in no sudden movements. Then use the playhead to lower the animation down. Now let's add some staggers presets and smooth out the animation. That's pretty good. Now we have a basic fluid realistic animation. Now that we have the engineer animated, let's animate his hat as well. This is what they call, follow through and overlapping. Go by the flow to animate the hat as he is moving. When he makes a sudden stop, you need to make sure that the hat is still moving as a drag.
Another thing I want to cover is, how did I make a stop motion animation in Source Filmmaker? That's a good question. Let me show you. After I polished my animation, I go by twos in the motion editor. Then I used the bracket keys and used the playhead slider all the way up. I do this multiple times, but it is worth it. Now for the smears in the animation process. Let's make a sentry spinning. To make a spinning turret, let's animate the sentry's head first. If we rotate the sentry in the graph editor, the rotation does not work as intended naturally. Here's a trick on how to prevent that from happening in the motion editor. If you use the fallout while rotating it head of the turret, it will spin in one direction and not the other. Here's a way to smear the turret while spinning. I animate the turret's head into two poses and then copy and paste them. Now I duplicate the turret four or five times to make a smear. As soon as I hit the space bar, it looks like it's actually spinning really fast. Here's another smear which is the stretching smear. Let's add a smear to where he moves his arm really fast as and in between. Stretch out the arm and fingers as possible. Then use the scale option and select add scale to control transform. So those are the basics of the animation process. Hopefully you will find this very useful, and the later tutorial we will be discussing about lighting. Stay tuned for more tutorials, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.